The term black hole stirs a sense of dread, hinting at emptiness, peril, and a force that might draw us in and ensnare us. It suggests a place where time loses its meaning, with wondrous qualities that we struggle to comprehend. But what, then, is a black hole? How can something that is in essence an invisible nothing be so important and mighty? The answer lies in gravity, the great pull of black holes that makes them so captivating. Black holes. Black holes are among the most intriguing and peculiar objects in space. They are incredibly dense, with such powerful gravitational forces that even light cannot escape their pull. The Milky Way may harbor over a hundred million black holes, but detecting these voracious entities is a formidable challenge. At the center of our galaxy lies a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A. This immense structure has a mass about four million times that of the Sun and is situated roughly 26,000 light years from Earth, as stated by NASA. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope EHT collaboration captured the first ever image of a black hole. This remarkable photograph of the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy, located 55 million light years from Earth, captivated scientists worldwide. Birth and discovery. Black holes are expected to form through two distinct mechanisms. The first pathway involves the remnants of massive stars. When stars with birth masses approximately eight to 10 times that of our sun exhaust their nuclear fuel, primarily hydrogen, they undergo a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova. This explosion leaves behind a very compact and dense object, a stellar mass black hole, which typically has a mass a few times that of the sun. Not all stars end their lives as black holes. Stars with lower birth masses leave behind other remnants such as neutron stars or white dwarfs. Neutron stars are extremely dense and compact, while white dwarfs are the remnants of stars that were not massive enough to undergo a supernova explosion. Another pathway for black hole formation is through the direct collapse of gas. This process is believed to create more massive black holes, with masses ranging from 1,000 to 100,000 times that of the Sun. This mechanism bypasses the traditional stellar life cycle forming massive black hole seeds directly from gas. It is thought to have been particularly relevant in the early universe, leading to the formation of supermassive black holes observed at the centers of galaxies. The concept of black holes emerged as an exact mathematical solution to Einstein's equations of general relativity, which describe the curvature of space around matter. General relativity connects the geometry of space to the distribution of matter within it. In 1915, Karl Schwarzschild found the first solution to Einstein's equations that described a black hole. This solution revealed regions of space that distort the fabric of space-time to such an extent that they create a puncture, now known as a black hole. Initially, it was unclear whether these mathematical solutions corresponded to real objects in the universe. As astronomical observations advanced, the detection of other stellar remnants, such as neutron stars observed as pulsars, supported the existence of black holes. The first black hole to be identified was Cygnus X1, a strong X-ray source discovered in the 1960s, which provided compelling evidence for the reality of black holes. Over time, these discoveries have solidified our understanding of black holes as fundamental components of the universe, arising from both the deaths of massive stars and the direct collapse of gas in the early universe. The hidden presence of black holes in our galaxy the Milky Way is believed to contain millions of black holes, quietly orbiting like the stars, yet remaining virtually invisible to us. These extraordinarily dense pockets of matter have such immense mass compressed into a minuscule volume that they create significant distortions in the fabric of space-time. This intense gravitational pull makes black holes some of the most enigmatic objects in the universe. Black holes are nearly undetectable under most circumstances. They can only be observed when they are actively interacting with their surroundings. For instance, when a black hole is feeding on nearby matter, such as gas or dust, the material heats up as it spirals inward, emitting X-rays that we can detect with telescopes. Additionally, black holes can be identified by their gravitational effects on nearby stars, causing the stars to orbit in unusual patterns. Despite these methods of detection, the vast majority of black holes remain hidden. This means that one of these elusive objects could, in theory, pass through our solar system without our knowledge. However, this scenario is highly improbable. The distribution of black holes, like that of stars, is vast, and the chances of a black hole entering our solar system are exceedingly slim. What do black holes look like? Black holes have three main components, the outer event horizon, the inner event horizon, and the singularity, 
The event horizon is the boundary surrounding the black hole's mouth, beyond which light cannot escape. Once a particle crosses this boundary, it is trapped. Gravity is consistent across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole, where its mass is concentrated, is known as the singularity. This is a single point in space-time where the mass is infinitely dense. Black holes cannot be observed directly like stars or other celestial objects. Instead, astronomers detect the radiation emitted as dust and gas are drawn into the black hole. However, supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies can be shrouded by thick dust and gas, which can block these emissions. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, collaboration, released the first ever image of a black hole. This image of the black hole at the center of galaxy M87 mapped the sudden loss of photons, particles of light, around the event horizon. This groundbreaking image opened new avenues of research, giving astronomers a visual representation of a black hole. In 2021, a new view of the M87 black hole was revealed, showing it in polarized light. Polarized light waves with different orientation and brightness compared to unpolarized light provided even more detail. This image showed that the black hole's ring is magnetized, offering insights into its magnetic fields. In May 2022, scientists revealed the first image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A. Sometimes, as matter is drawn toward a black hole, it ricochets off the event horizon and is expelled outward, creating bright jets of material traveling at near relativistic speeds. These jets can be seen from great distances, even though the black hole itself remains invisible. The EHT's image of the M87 black hole was an extraordinary effort, requiring two years of analysis due to the vast amount of data collected from a worldwide network of observatories. Researchers aim to image more black holes in the future, building a repository of their appearances. Sagittarius A is a particularly intriguing target due to its relatively quiet nature which may be influenced by magnetic fields, as reported in a 2019 study. Another study that year revealed a cool gas halo surrounding Sagittarius AA, providing unprecedented insight into the environment around a black hole. Stellar black holes, small but deadly. Astronomers have identified three types of black holes. Stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, and intermediate black holes. When a star exhausts its fuel, it may collapse into a neutron star or white dwarf if it's up to about three times the sun's mass. However, Larger stars continue to compress and form stellar black holes. These black holes are relatively small but incredibly dense, with more than three times the mass of the Sun packed into a space the size of a city. This immense gravitational force allows them to consume dust and gas from their surroundings, enabling them to grow over time. Supermassive black holes, the birth of giants. While small black holes are scattered throughout the universe, their larger counterparts, supermassive black holes, reign supreme. These colossal entities are millions or even billions of times more massive than the Sun, but maintain a relatively consistent diameter. They are believed to inhabit the center of nearly every galaxy, including our own Milky Way. The origins of these immense black holes remain uncertain. Once formed, they accumulate mass from the abundant dust and gas swirling around them in the galactic center, allowing them to grow even larger. Several theories attempt to explain the formation of supermassive black holes. One possibility is that they result from the merger of hundreds or thousands of smaller black holes. Alternatively, large gas clouds may collapse under their own gravity, rapidly accumulating mass. Another hypothesis involves the collapse of a stellar cluster, where numerous stars collapse simultaneously. Additionally, supermassive black holes could arise from the aggregation of large clusters of dark matter, a mysterious substance whose composition remains unknown, as it does not emit light and cannot be directly observed, only inferred from its gravitational effects on other objects. Binary black holes, double trouble. In 2015, astronomers utilizing the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, detected gravitational waves originating from the merger of binary stellar black holes. According to David Shoemaker, spokesperson for the LIGO Scientific Collaboration, LSC, the discovery provided further confirmation of the existence of stellar mass black holes exceeding 20 solar masses, previously unknown before LIGO's detection. Moreover, LIGO's observations shed light on the spin orientation of black holes within binaries. As two black holes orbit each other, their spins can align or counter-align. Two theories attempt to elucidate the formation of binary black holes. The first proposes that both black holes originate simultaneously from a pair of stars born together and subsequently undergoing explosive deaths at similar times. These companion stars would possess parallel spin orientations resulting in aligned spins for the black holes they leave behind. The second model posits that black holes within a stellar cluster coalesce at the cluster's core, 
forming binary pairs. In this scenario, the spin orientations of companion black holes are expected to be random. LIGO's observations, particularly those revealing companion black holes with disparate spin orientations, offer stronger support for this formation theory. Keita Kawabe, a LIGO scientist from Caltech stationed at the LIGO Hanford Observatory, highlighted the significance of gathering statistical data on binary black hole systems. Such data collection holds promise in refining our understanding of black hole binary formation models, potentially favoring certain theories over others. The inescapable and grisly fate of falling into a black hole. Approaching a black hole is a perilous endeavor. If you got too close, you would be inexorably pulled in, with no hope of escape. This point of no return is known as the event horizon, beyond which anything, be it a wandering star, a photon of light, or even a human becomes trapped forever. Fortunately, the closest known black hole to Earth is about 1,000 light years away, so there is no immediate danger of being sucked in. If you were to fall into a stellar-sized black hole, you would face a gruesome fate known as spaghettification. The black hole's gravity is so intense and varies so drastically over short distances that your feet would be pulled much more strongly than your head, causing you to stretch uncontrollably. This extreme stretching effect would turn you into a form resembling human spaghetti. To avoid such a horrifying demise, it is best to steer clear of stellar-sized black holes. Do black holes die? And now it's time for the most asked question. Do black holes die? Black holes don't die in the conventional sense, but they are theoretically predicted to slowly evaporate over extremely long time scales. Black holes grow by accreting matter from their surroundings, drawn in by their immense gravitational pull. However, the physicist Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes can also lose mass and energy through a process now known as Hawking radiation. According to quantum theory, virtual particles constantly pop in and out of existence. These particles appear in pairs, a particle and its corresponding antiparticle. Typically, they annihilate each other almost immediately. However, near a black hole's event horizon, unusual interactions can occur. Instead of annihilating each other, one particle of the pair can be captured by the black hole's gravity and fall into it, while the other particle escapes into space. This escaping particle takes away a tiny amount of the black hole's energy effectively causing the black hole to lose mass over time. This process of slow particle emission and energy loss is incredibly gradual, happening over time scales much longer than the current age of the universe. Over these immense periods, this trickle of escaping particles is theorized to eventually cause the black hole to evaporate completely.